hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this drum lesson for when the levy breaks by led zeppelin so this is one of my favorite drummers of all time easily i know i probably said that every single video but this really is um john bonham i mean everyone knows about john bonham if you don't Go and listen to some Zeppelin because it's boss. Anyway, so this groove, When the Levy Breaks, is super famous um, and one of my personal all-time favourites. Um, so let's just let's just learn how to play this groove. Now it's it, this song again is a simple tune, essentially, relatively simple, but there's lots of difficult bits in it. But I do quite like teaching this to beginners because once you get that first groove you can just play that groove all the way through and it's it's got such a nice feel um, and it's a really good one to do there's some sync 16th note syncopated stuff happening but we'll look at that so okay so straight into this we're on our what eighth notes on the hi-hat um, and a little bit sloshy on those hats so a little bit open um, and we're doing our normal back beats on the snare drum at, on two and four. Um, and we've, so we've got a kick on one. And then the first, the first sort of difficult, strange kick drum is on the last 16th note of two. So if I just play that beginning bit, it's like this. Okay, so that bass drum there is on the last 16th note of two. One and two, ah, e, ah, two, e, and ah. So it's on the ah of two. So it's like, okay. So hopefully you've got that. Practice that, get that down. What the, what you're basically doing there is putting a kick drum in between the hats. Okay, because when we carry on the groove, we've got this hat after it. And then we're carrying on the eighth notes and then we've got two more bass drums happening on three and, okay? So you can play it firstly like this. We'll just play it doing the kick drum, the 16th note kick drum on two a, and then it on three and. So that'll be like this. So practice that. Again, a bit slower. Okay. And then what you can do is you can complete the groove, put the second backbeat in, and that'll be like this, and then, and, then, and then loop it. And then we've only got one more bass drum to add. So that with the backbeat in is like this. practice it like that and then the last kick drum to add is on the last 16th note of beat three so we're going to have two kick drums together so that'll sound like this okay so those that that's that's the full groove then and like i say Practice that. I'll try a little bit slow it for you. Here we go. Okay, cool. So practice that groove. And like I say, once you've got that groove, you can play that for the whole track. Um, so hopefully that, that, that makes sense on that. Um, it's not too fast as well, this track. So you can, you can sit in with it which is another reason that I do teach it to beginners and I think it's a, it's a good one. Um, so then we've got the only other real section in this is this little kind of turnaround bit, which is like quite a cool um, pushing section between the crashes. What we're doing is we're doing, we're hitting the snares and then a crash. 
So it comes in on one and, two ah, three ah, four ah, and then there's a little bit after that. So this is what I want you to practice. We're going, we're hitting the snare on one, and then the next 16th note, we're hitting a crash with the bass drum. Okay, and that's going on all the quarter notes. One do, two do, three do, four do. Okay, so that sounds like this. Okay, and then just to finish off that bar, there's one more push that is a that's the a snare drum on the last sixteenth note, beat four, and then the one of the next bar. So that is like this. One ah, two ah, three ah, four ah, ah one. Okay, and then what it's doing is it's cycling back into this groove. So it's like. there I was adding a few extra bass drums so you can if you're feeling confident once you've got those pushes adding those extra bass drums but I'd keep it simple and like I say keep it even more simple you can throughout that section you can just keep your groove going and that like I, like I've said a few times with beginners, I, I just get them to play that whole track, just that groove, just la because it's such a good exercise of just laying down a groove and keeping to it and keeping keeping the feel really nice. Um, that is pretty much the whole track. There are there are lots of fills and stuff, um, so I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna go too much into them in in this video because we'd be here for hours. Um, because the main idea is not to make this too hard, but have a listen to what I've done, and you know maybe pick out a few of those. There's like the classic bottom triplet bass drums, um, and there's some. There are some nice fills in there which aren't actually too hard, um, but I would keep that groove nice and simple, um, and just try and play along to the whole thing. So yeah, um, hopefully that that made sense. Let's go and try the whole playthrough of the track now, here we go.
Okay, wonderful. Thank you for watching again um, and coming back for more and more of these videos. Um, I'm hoping that you're liking what I'm doing. Um, I know that people have asked me to do certain songs and I promise I will get round to them. But I do have a lot of backlog of stuff that I need to do. But yeah, anyway, thanks, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.